Hey, Brad with the Office of the CISO again. Um, well, I have another vulnerability I wanted to talk through, and actually a big long list of vulnerabilities, but one I wanted to um, focus on really just to give me a, talk, a talking point and a platform to bring up this big list of vulnerabilities. So uh, Synology uh, announced a vulnerability in their disk station manager, uh, part of the iSCSI management functionality. Um, CVE 2022-27623. Uh, Synology announced this back in October of 2022, uh, October 25th. Um, there's a big long list of CVEs related to other, to, to this technology, Synology's um, Disk Station Manager, uh, that I'm going to include in the uh, in the notes. Um, but this specific vulnerability. Um, it's an authentic it's an authentication vulnerability. Um, the the MITRE ID CWE three zero six calls it a missing authentication for a critical function. Um, so that's the vulnerability type. Uh, the the vulnerability itself really gives access read or write access to um, to files within the uh, the disk station manager. Um, this one in and of itself isn't terribly useful to an attacker, I guess, that's, that's, uh, that's remote. However, it paired with this other list of vulnerabilities that I keep seeing show up in the, uh, show up in the wild is, um, can get dangerous. Um, the, uh, NVD published details for this vulnerability uh, on the same day that, that Synology announced it, October 25th of 22. Uh, I've got links down in the, in the notes. Uh, the, the score for it though, uh, NVD scores it as a, a CVSS at 9.1. Synology scores it as a 70, uh, sorry, 7.4. So uh, NVD considers it critical, whereas Synology just considers it high. Um, I don't know that I want to lean towards Synology's scoring or NVD's scoring more. Uh, regardless, it's it's a high enough vulnerability that it needs to be addressed. Uh, as far as exploits go, today there are no known exploits for this specific vulnerability, and I couldn't find any um, any exploits for the list of vulnerabilities that that I've included in the notes either, but. Um, there are a lot of exploits available on ExploitDB, some of which have been confirmed. Um, at least one was published directly by Metasploit. Uh, so the product and other Synology products are being targeted and having exploits um, developed for their vulnerabilities. As far as uh, solutions go, um, the DSM version 7.1-42661 or above is considered not vulnerable to this CVE. Uh, so if you can upgrade your, your Synology products, do so. There are no other mitigations or workarounds available for, um, for this vulnerability specifically. Um, so I wanted to ask the question, why, why am I bringing up this old vulnerability if it was announced two or three months ago? What's, what's the point? Um, my, my point is that they keep showing up. I keep seeing reports for, for this vulnerability as well as, uh, how many have I got listed here? Heck, I don't know, what's that, 20? Lots of vulnerabilities dating back to like 07. So there's old Synology vulnerabilities that I, that I keep seeing in the wild. So I wanted to make the point that they keep showing up. Um, I know organizations can tend to forget about their their back end solutions, um, uh, like backup technologies or security tools or monitoring uh, monitoring solutions, things like that. I know organizations can tend to forget about those because they just kind of do their thing and we don't stop and think about them. But they're important to keep updated, just like production environments are important to keep updated. Uh, so just as a general reminder, patch your stuff. If you've got technology products, check them. Make sure you're up to date and that you're not vulnerable to, the, to these CVEs and others. Um, and that's it. Uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it.